How thankful are you to uh, pull off this victory, considering what was going on throughout the game? Well, um, you know, having to get Gio out of there before uh, we wanted to certainly is not what we want. And uh, it's a big two-run homer by Zim to get us back in it. Uh, and then a really good heads-up base running play uh, from Loby there to score and get us ahead. They're, they're a powerful offense, so we tried to set it up with the guys that you know we normally go to, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Sorry, just left the ball up. But we were able to get out of that and, and get something manufactured in the bottom. Could you talk about how, how uh, clutch uh, Jason Worth has been for you guys? Yeah, he's a good hitter. He knows when to... Uh, when to work on at bat and when to work a walk to get on base, and he knows what to do. Certainly, with depending on the situation with the guy on first, he's looking to drive a ball and hit an extra base hit. Um, with the guy on second base, there he's more middle of the diamond. Knows that a single would win it, but he's been really good for us all year. Is that a gutsy send by Henley, or is that a scouting report that says that's a spot to go? A little bit, a little bit of both. Uh, but, you know, we've got to try to win the game there. I, if if, uh, if Hen stops him there, then we're banking on another base hit. We've got to take a chance there uh, to, to win the game. Anthony turned the bases really nice, though. How valuable were those two and two-thirds scoreless from Craig to kind of bridge the gap for you and keep you in it? Yeah, we could have sent him out there for more, uh, but we had it, you know, we had to lead up by a run with the back of our bullpen guys lined up and decided to go with it. But, you know, he he, uh, he got the out he wanted when he came in the game. Uh, they made a couple of really headsy base running plays, um, you know, on throws to first and were able to score. But, uh, you know, he got that out. Certainly got the next out and, and got the, the next two. So, yeah, he, he fills that role really well. He fills a number of roles. But in that situation, he can keep us close and keep us in the game. and allow us to come back like we did. What was Gio's problem today? Just command. Command on everything. Um, fastball off the plate, up and off the plate, and he just couldn't control that, which you know didn't allow him to go to his other pitches either. So he threw a lot of pitches in the, in the innings that he threw. Was he upset? Did you take him out? No, I don't think so. You have to ask him, but I don't think so. You did some nice fundamental things like when Ramos threw weeks out the trail yeah. runner on the double steal. Uh, uh, Rendon had a great play behind second. But they scored a man from second on a ground ball back to the pitcher. Yeah. They scored a man from third when your infield was in and the ball yeah. sit straight to the shortstop. You had a man picked off first. You had a man doubled off third. You had a balloon save where the tie runs pushed into scoring position by a walk. Gia walked back-to-back men with no reason, and yet an error at third that brought up Gomez with the bases loaded. And we won. Wow, that, and you won. Yeah. What is that, you know? Well, it just that? means that we got to play. Uh, you, you, you would love it to be perfectly clean every day. Um, that's not the case. So the good thing is they don't, they don't quit playing. They understand that, um, that we've got a chance. If we keep it close enough, we've got a chance. Um, you know, I would liken some of those plays to, to – uh, to good base running too. Braun on the move. Uh, Geo having to turn his back to the play and throw the ball to first base. Certainly pitchers don't usually throw it over there at 100 miles an hour anyway. Um, and then Segura, uh, Desi's got no choice. He looked him back and he stopped. And then he threw the ball to first base. We've got a fast base uh, batter runner there. Yeah. And that's Zim a good play. And Zim can't be on third to hold him tighter. No, and and. Rochi's got to turn opposite way to throw the ball to home. So a right-handed first baseman, it's an easier play for. But, but you know, th- those things happen. Uh, you have to have very short memory in, in that, you know, that's over with. Now we got to continue to play, give ourselves a chance. I think the, the one thing beyond that is when you have three or four things that maybe don't go that way, do you address it game by game? Do you address it with individual players at a week at a time? Or, in other words, how do you tighten your game up as the season goes along? Well, I. Or do you need to? Well, Bryce got picked off. Um, I don't know if, if uh, any of our players uh, would have been able to get back to third on a line drive back to the pitcher. So we take that into account, uh, and that's part of baseball that 
you, you can address. Uh, however, uh, it happens. It's, it's the same as, you know, a guy taking a secondary lead and getting doubled off on a line drive to first. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to be going back, though, before it goes through, right? Unless it's well, a contact play. It depends. It depends on on uh, on the game and on the situation. But yeah, of course, it, it's not ideal. Um, but we're not going to be completely clean. And I don't. I wouldn't have imagined anybody would. And you did a bunch of good things. Yeah. Fundamentally. Yeah. Did did some good things. Zim had his first home run nearly a month. Has he yeah. found his power? You think? Yeah, I think it's there. I mean, I think it has been there. Um, what I'm most pleased with is him delivering base hits with men in scoring position, regardless of homers. Uh, that will come. We know that that he's got power, and uh, he knows certainly what to do when he's up there. It's it's one thing to swing for the fences. It's another thing to drive a run in when it's needed. And today he did with, with both of them. So he's been swinging good. Tracking back to Craig, this is the second time. Recently you had to pull him in in the fourth. Yeah. How is he able to do that? He's just, uh, it doesn't matter to him what inning it is. It's, it's about making pitches and getting out. He's uh, willing to do anything we ask of him, uh, whether it's a situation where the back of our pen's been three days in a row and he's got to close a game, he can do that. Uh, he's been a, he's a former starter, so he, he understands multiple innings and how to work through that. Um, so, yeah, he's pitched really well. Is, is this a team that has a lot of really good pitchers and hitters, but not a 125 RBI guy or not a 23 game winner? Uh, huh. you, you don't have a, you don't have anybody having a monster year for them, but you're in first. Well, I don't know. What's uh, the balance? I guess. Uh, well, I think that's the, I think that's the key. I think it's balance. Um, you've got certainly starting pitching that can compete on an everyday basis, offense that that does a number of things well, has some power, we have some speed, they can work at bats, they're good hitters, they understand on-base percentage is important as well. Um, the back of our bullpen can close games out. Um, you know, in recent, in recent uh, history, uh, they can play good defense, very good defense. So I think that balance is key for us as we go forward. Okay, thank you. Good.